Great. Um, I think one of the challenges we, have, one of the biggest challenges we have in Africa is trade. We recognize the fact that we're doing much more trade between African countries and Europe, China, uh, Middle East than we are doing between ourselves. One of the reasons one for that is just because of the ability to um, transfer money between countries. MPESA Global is extremely important because it takes MPESA, which is a fantastic financial platform and ecosystem, um, out of Kenya into the whole of Africa. It is a fiat or monetary system which we are going to be able to use in order to integrate Africa and allow for a lot of African trade. There's the single most important thing then after that is how do we ensure that there is a common currency that they can use? In East Africa, Kenya, Uganda, Tanzania all use some form of shilling. And so I think in terms of monetary union or thinking of transfer of money, it's, it's never been a foreign concept. I think um, all that MPESA has done is to is to come and assist where people have they've been trading corridors between Kenya, Tanzania, Kenya, Uganda, Rwanda, and the rest for a long time. I believe in West Africa the trading corridors are also known between Nigeria and Ghana, between Togo and Ivory Coast, uh, between Ghana and Ivory Coast, and between Cameroon and Nigeria. Those are strong trading corridors. When I talk about trading corridors, what I mean is places where there's already a lot of cash transactions happening. I believe what the fintech companies in West Africa have to do is to take a couple of steps back to understand what's happening on the ground, what's needed on the ground, where these trading corridors um, between the countries, where the traders, the real guys on the ground who are bringing goods from Dubai or whatever neighboring countries and selling stuff, where do they need money from and to? And once you capture that need on the ground, then you are able to create products and propositions around that in order to add value to these traders. I look beyond that. I think Africa should have a common currency. We are, we are behind on that. With digital money, cryptocurrency and blockchain, um, getting digital fiat or digital currencies working across Africa is going to be a thing. You know, so we may not necessarily have a Pan-African currency in the physical format that people expected, but having digital currencies that we can use across Africa is definitely going to happen. 100%. As I told you, I was I was there in Kigali when it was signed. Yes, I know it took a long time to get several countries to put their, 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 their signatures on it, but I think that was just politics. You know, people fronting, thinking with their egos as opposed to thinking of what's best for Africa. But eventually it's going to happen. I believe so. The cultures are different. Having said that, we're all human beings. If I catch you, what is going to come out is blood. Most likely it's going to be red, not green. And so therefore, we need to recognize the humanness in each one of us. I think it's the orientation is about being open-minded and ready to compromise and to work with others as a team. Ultimately, specifically when it comes now to technology, we all have great ideas. Some ideas that are created in Kenya are better off deployed and will advance more in other countries in West Africa. Similarly, there's things that are being created today in West Africa, which might work there to an extent, but might work much faster and, and get much faster growth and traction in East Africa. I think the, the first step, which I totally believe in is, we need to get our youth to travel more, to be more exposed, because there's no way I'm going to do business with somebody in Ivory Coast. If I've never been to Ivory Coast and I've not, I don't understand the orientation, it's difficult. It's not impossible, but it's very difficult. So we need to get African youth to travel more, because the more they travel, the more countries they see, the more different cultures and people they work with, the easier is it for them to do business together. And then after travel, we, we move these people to the next level of cooperating and coordinating things together.